ejoba oluwa eh laye ati loru ejoba oluwa jesus ejoba oluwa sweet jesus ejoba oluwa e kanana suta laye ati loru Et je vais au Jesus say et joba oluwa laye laye ati loru et joba et joba eh il est so il est so Thank you. 
in Jesus mighty name we pray glory be to God in the highest amen hallelujah glory be to protect us and kept us. May his name be exalted this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. Brethren, you are welcome to his presence and the word of God this morning is going to be very brief because I would love us to pray today. Praise the Lord. And the topic for us is a declare by faith. Declare by faith and we'll take our text from Genesis chapter 1 from verse 1 to 3. Genesis chapter 1 from verse 1 to 3. Praise the Lord. Let's be seated, please. And in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. And the earth was without form and void. And darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. And God said, Let there be light. And there was light. Praise Master Jesus. Brethren, from the scripture we read, it could see God declaring light. And we can also read Psalm 19, verse 1. Psalm 19, verse 1. Let's quickly. Psalm 19, verse 1. It says, The heavens declare the glory of God, and the fireman showeth his handiwork. The heavens declares the glory of the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. Brethren, the topic we say is this, declare by faith. And what is declaration? The declaration is an emphatic statement. When you say something is emphatic, when you just say it, you don't want it to be changed. You want it to be executed as it is given. I have declared and it's a, a, a final statement that you give. So, today, the word is created by declaration. The word you see today was made by declaration. So if you check around you, what you see around you can be made or rearranged by your declaration. Praise Master Jesus. We read that scripture. God saw that the Spirit of the Lord, the, the beginning, the Spirit of the Lord was moved upon waters. There was confusion. Since we are not as it should be, then God said, let there be what? Let there be light. And the word as we see today came to existence by just declaring. Brethren, you have such power. 
sometimes we don't know the kind of power that we have. We don't know what is reserved inside us. But the word of God reminds us today that you have the power to declare light where there is darkness. We have the power to say that there be peace. Let there be peace when there is what? When there is storm. When in the midst of confusions, in the midst of war, you can declare what? You can declare peace with your mouth. The victory that you need can just be gotten by what? By mere declaration. You know, sometimes as Christians, we run from pillar to post. We struggle. We do this. But sometimes all you just need to do is just take it back and what? And declare it in. And it shall be what? And it shall be established. Brethren, declare. The world you see as it is done today is made by declaration. So your life can be made, recreated, restructured by what? By your declaration. Praise Master Jesus. So the question you could ask us say, what are you declaring by faith? What are you declaring? So, so what are you need to what do you need to declare? We read from the scriptures when some people saw some people and said they were ants and said, God, Well, God said, As I hear you say in my ears, so I will perform. So, and they what? They all died, they all perish in the wilderness. And so many people today still perish because of what they are declaring. So, brethren, look, evaluate your life and see what are you declaring? What is your faith declaration? There may be confusion in the land, there may be poverty in the land, there may be darkness, families might be having challenges. But, brethren, don't let us join them in declaring war. What do we declare? We declare peace. We see a better tomorrow. And your declaration can be done. What is it can is done by what you see. It's what you see that you can what you declare. You might see it into the next year, you might see it into the next ten or five years. Just keep declaring it, and it shall come to pass in the mighty name of Jesus. If we should declare, you must declare your faith in God. Praise Master Jesus. Most people don't declare their faith in God. You know, when they, they are, when there are so many challenges, they they, they look alternative. But sometimes, when you have fixed challenges, one of the first things you do is declare your faith in what? In God. That God, I'm a child of God. I'm a seed of what? Abraham. I am born again. I'm a Christian. You must declare it every day. You must have that assurance. Because one of the things it helps you to do is help you know that you're a child of God. They are not, they are not what? They are not lonely. You know, sometimes when you go out, there are so many issues. Or when you are going to face some things, it might look as if you are alone. But brethren, you are not what? You are not alone. You must declare that faith in God. And that is what David did. David in 1 Samuel chapter 17 verse 45. 1 Samuel 17 verse 45. When this David saw that Goliath, when he saw that Philistine, he declared his faith in what? In God. He said, well, you came with me with all this armor, but I came to you what? In the name of the Lord. Brethren, that is how we shall pray from henceforth. The, the challenge of life declare the faith, your faith in God. You know, when you declare it, you have, what have you done? You have given God charge over the world. You have submitted that situation to God. Bre don't let us live like the way the world live. They struggle, they go left and right, and they face defeat. But brethren, declare your faith. That's the very first starting of your declaration. You say, I'm a child of God. I'm a seed of Abraham. I am blessed. Eh? I have, I have, I have, I have, I'm, I'm, I'm saved. I'm redeemed of the Lord. I'm a royal priesthood. You must declare that faith in God daily because it gives you the energy, it gives you the assurance. It reminds you that God is what is still in charge of the war, that the enemy cannot win. Praise Master Jesus. So when first we have to also declare your desires, things that you want. Eh? I will prosper. I will make it. I will succeed. I will get that word that I desire. You know, you must say that. Those are the declaration that has come from your mouth. Don't declare defeat. People, you know, people look at Nigeria and people see that Nigeria is this. No, declare what you the what you want. What is what what you should declare? Eh? There is business in Nigeria. There is prosperity in Nigeria. There is progress. There is we, everything around us. What is under control? There is no confusion in you, you. Praise Master Jesus. So you must declare your desires. Don't be don't be overshadowed. What 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 is going around with you? That's when the, the disciple of Jesus when they saw the storm. They say, oh, at last we are what? They were dead. But, but God, when God say, oh no, you men of what? Little faith. He declare. He said, peace be what? Be still. Imagine if Christ did not declare. What would have happened to them? Brethren, if you don't declare, what will be the outcome? So declare the positivity you want in your life. The result, the end result that you want. What? Declare it. Praise Master Jesus. You know, the God that we serve is the God that told us that he sees the world, the end from, from the beginning. So he can, declare the, he can declare the end. He can declare the victory that you need to desire. Praise. So declare, when you, you need to declare your faith in God, you need to declare the gospel too. Praise Master Jesus. He said, on this rock I'll beat my, you know, and the gate of hell shall not prevail. 
brethren, you also need to declare the kingdom of grace that the earth, the world we know shall, will be saved. You know, sometimes when you check statistics and say what is happening in Nigeria, you think, no, no, darkness, Satan cannot overcover the world because God is what? Is the almighty God. God is your. Since I caught that revelation, I have come to have peace in my heart. Even when there is storm, when there are things around me, I know that God is what? Is the almighty God. He's ruler of, he's in charge of the world. He can do whatever I want to do with the earth. So he must declare the gospel of Jesus over the nations, over your family, over your children, that the gospel of what? That the kingdom of God what? will prevail in a nation. Darkness will not prevail. Bokwana cannot prevail in Nigeria because this nation well, is the nation of God. So, brethren, declare the kingdom of God. Declare the gospel over our nations. Praise Master Jesus. We saw Caleb do that in number 13, verse 30. Numbers 13, verse 30. When they saw those, when they saw the kingdom, he rose up. Let's read, let's open the book of Numbers, chapter 13, verse 30. Book of Numbers 13, verse 30. But praise Master Jesus. And Caleb stilled the people before Moses and said, Let us go at once and possess this, for we are able to overcome. Caleb stared the people. He stared the God, the word of the word of God, the prophecy that he heard. He stared the people. He said, Still, we know we are still able. He did not allow fear what to grip him. And he said he inherited what his portion in what in the promised land. People that declare are the people that what they have the capacity what to inherit the portion that God has made for them. Praise Master Jesus. So who who has the power to declare? Kings are the ones that have been given the power to make a decree. And you know, Bible tells us that what we are royal what priesthood. So you have the power, you have the capacity. When you declare the established, because it's only king that can decree the kingdom and what and it to be established. And God said you are a king. So you have the power to what to what? You have a domain. So declare it, declare the kingdom and it shall be established. Priests, creators. When people are declaring, when you want to create a thing, when God is their creator, my God, when you wanted to create, it started by what? By declaration. So when you want to do things, when you do it, start what? by declaration. Start by declaration. So when Psalm 19, verse 14. Psalm 19, verse 14. Those people that have the capacity to declare are those who are born again. He said, Let the, the thought of my and meditation of my heart Lord, be acceptable Lord, unto you. Those that are pure in heart. You know, you can, some, there are so many people that give declaration, so many people that say something, but they don't see impact. But what is your heart like? Are you born again? Are you living a holy life? Praise Master Jesus. Are you living and is your life acceptable before God? Is your life acceptable? Because but once you decree, is God, does God know your voice? So a born again Christian, once you are born again, say, let the thought, the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable unto you, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Let the word, the word of what of my mouth, those that have, have aligned themselves with God, they are the one that can make a decree and the word, and it shall be established. Are you aligned with God? That is the question. So many are not what? They are not aligned with God yet. They have several strategies and alternatives that they don't, don't think the God is not even in their mind. So those that are like the word Sam, David is one of those people that pray that have made a lot of declaration. And that's why he's what the Say what? Let the word of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be what? Be accepted unto you because you are what? You are my strength and you are what? You are my redeemer. David declared what? Declared the word of God. Declared he was so he was able to make that decree and come. So when do you have to make a decree? When faced with enemies, when the enemies is everywhere, when you look there's darkness, brethren, don't keep quiet. Don't before you start hustling around, before you start moving, enter scatter. First do what? First declare. Because when you declare, you want, we are clearing the way. It's like when it's like when you pour water now on ice, that definitely that ice will melt. It may not melt immediately, but that ice will what? It will definitely what? Give way. So when you declare it in your heart, you have made you are what you have prepared the ground now for God to operate, and you have prepared a, a ground to defeat what your enemy. When there's confusion everywhere, when there's you're overwhelmed. Just declare. Even in the, in the quiet time in your bedroom when nobody's seeing it and you feel the world is crumbling. What do you do? Just declare. Don't be cried away what? with fear. Just make a declaration. Father, it shall be well with me. I will make it. I will prosper. My children will be blessed. My nation is blessed. Just think what? Declare it. And even when it seems, when it, there's some time in moments in life, it looks as if prayer is even difficult for you because of what you are changing. At least make a declaration. As you begin to declare, begin to receive strength and you begin to move from higher ground. So when you want to create something important from, when you want to create something from something, I want to create from nothing. So you declare. 
declare by faith you might see so that you might see when you need to declare it is, it is a command why you need to also declare what god commands us to, uh, to declare you can see from 19 verse 19 verse 14 we say that heaven is what is declaring what the glory of the lord so each time you make a declaration you are cooperating with heaven each declaration you do you all, what are you doing you are cooperating what with heaven because bible told us that heaven is what is declaring the glory of the lord you understand? and it's, they, they are showing forth what the hand the word the handiwork of god so when you make a declaration you are cooperating with the almighty god in the affairs of life you are telling God, I'm in support. You are telling God, I'm in sync with you. You are telling God, I'm in your team. Praise Master Jesus. So each time you make a declaration with faith, is you are telling God, God, we are together. And James chapter 15 verse, 4, verse, verse 16 tells us that the effective fervent prayer of the righteous what availeth what much. You know, so there's not every prayer that can be that needs to be loud and shout. But, but the effective prayer is the prayer you pray from the depth of your heart. That is the when Bible say effective and what? Five bent and one, an effective word prayer. So Bible qualified that it comes the prayer that comes from within what with your heart. Yeah, so that's why sometimes that is the kind of prayer that Anna prayed. He said his, his mouth was not moving. That means nobody heard his voice. Do you understand? But it was effective and one and what? An effective a fervent and what? An effective. It comes from your heart. You declare, you say, God, this is what I want. Do you understand? Therefore, you cannot have your way. This place is not what? It's not your portion. You give way. That's why God, that's when God, when so God saw this challenge, he said, let there be light. And the scripture told us the word, there was what? There was light. There must be light because it has what? It's declared by what? The creator of heaven and them. So, when you need to create something, when you need to declare, declare a thing, declare because to effective and fervent prayer availeth much. So that prayer, that declaration, it has the capacity to what, to put those any challenges, put those any challenges. That's why God just told that if you, if you, if you tell a mountain to move, you know, it shall what, it shall move. So you have that that capacity, that right has been given to you because you are born again because your heart is what is made with God. Then when you need to judge your enemy, you can declare Psalm nineteen, Psalm one one nine. Verse 13. With your lips, you can judge the enemies of God. Praise Master Jesus. You have the capacity what, to judge your enemy. So when you declare things, you can judge the enemy. You can let darkness what, take away. You can let the world that's ravaging in your, your, around you, in your workplace, in your family, in your marriage, over the life of children, anywhere. When you declare in Psalm 1 and say, He has the his lip, he has, what, he has made judgments. So he can judge. He can declare what God has said over the over your enemy. I pray that the Almighty God will help us in the mighty name of Jesus. Brethren, declare a thing by faith today. Declare a thing by faith today. You need to de de make your declarations. Don't be bothered about what's happening. Just keep what? Just keep declaring it. Just keep saying that thing that you want to make it happen. There's power of God because each time you declare, you are cooperating with the Almighty God. You are telling God, I'm in your team. I want this effect and it shall happen to you, for you in the mighty name of Jesus. That your desire shall be granted in the mighty name of Jesus. Brethren, we'll rise on our feet and we're going to be praying from Psalm 24. He said, lift up your head, O ye gates, and be lifted up ancient doors, that the King of glory may come. Who is the King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty. The Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your head, O ye gates, and be lifted up ancient doors, that the King of glory may come. Who is the King of glory? The Lord of hosts is the king of glory. Sometimes devil might want to challenge your decree but he keep declaring. From that Psalm 24 we said that he declared it first. He said who is the king of glory? He told that the Lord, the Lord strong and mighty. He was, he's the king. He said lift up your head all you gay. Say who is the king of glory? The Lord of hosts. Lord is the king of glory. So enemy cannot challenge the Lord of hosts. Praise Master Jesus. I want to pray and say Father have mercy on me in the mighty name of Jesus. Sir. Give me grace. Let's ask for capacity, Lord. To Lord. say, Father, give have mercy on me in the name of Jesus. Sir. Give me the grace, Lord, to continually look upon you that I will not look away in the mighty name of Jesus. Sir. Give me grace, O Lord, in the name of have mercy on me in the name of Jesus. Sir. Let your mercy prevail for me in the name of Jesus. Sir. Sanctify me, O Lord, in the name of Shekebrele. In the name of Reketeketebri Shekebrele. In the name of Mekebre. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. God is a Father sanctify my mouth in the mighty name of Jesus. Say, let the word of my mouth and the word be acceptable. Let's say, Father Lord, sanctify my mouth today in the name of Jesus. That every word of my mouth, Lord, will be acceptable in the name of Jesus. Lord. That no unacceptable word, no unacceptable word will come out of my mouth in the name of Jesus. No corrupt communication will come out of my mouth in the name of Jesus. Lord. Oh Lord, my Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, sanctify my mouth, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Sanctify me, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Sanctify me, Lord, in my mouth, Lord. Let the word of my mouth, Lord, be acceptable, Lord, unto you in the name of Jesus. 
Jesus. Uh, let no corrupt word come out of my mouth, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Now we are going to declare, we're going to declare, say, Father, let there be light in my life in the name of Jesus. Uh, let's pray in the name of Father. Uh, today, I declare the light of God. Whatever I want to declare in the name of Jesus, uh, let there be light in the name of Jesus, in my life, in the name of Jesus, in my ways, in the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord, my Father, let there be light in the name of Jesus. I command, I decree in the name of Jesus, the light of God will shine, Lord, in my family, in my home, in the name of Jesus, uh, in a church, in a nation, in the name of Jesus. I declare, Mary Bo, shake. He said, declare, it's be stabbing. I declare the power of God, Lord, to overflow. I declare every life to be healed in the name of Jesus, uh, in the Rebo, shake it, Take to Ruby Libre, intro by shake it, every leg, every rotomy, leg, every 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 Overflow in the life of our families, homes, in the name of Germany, in the Gedebro, Lake Ebre, Lake We declare total victory over every life in the name of Germany. Everywhere there is war, there is challenges in this life, in the name of Germany. Where there is confusion, we declare peace. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we declare every barrier to be removed, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. We are going to declare this week. We are going to say, Father, as I go this week, in the name of Jesus, Lord. I declare that every mountain be moved in the name of Jesus God. Every mountain in the name of Jesus, I speak up, brethren, declare in the name of Jesus. In every mountain before my vision in the name of Jesus Lord. Every mountain before my business, before my family, before the cable, I command in the name of Jesus Lord. Be moved in the name of Jesus. Lord. Every barrier in the name of Jesus. Declare labor rikatakata in the rebo toko mi libre legete kete kete ribo libre legete in the rebo sheruti li maliga bra I declare in the name of Jesus. Every mountain in the name of before praise the in the name of Jesus. Be removed in the name of Jesus Lord. Every mountain before the church of God, I command in the name of God, be removed in the name of God. Every mountain before every life, rearising in the name of God, I command in the name of God, be removed in the name of Jesus. Make a table, literally, every day, libro shake the bread, legate, take a 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 take in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Father, we bless your name. We exalt you because you are the almighty God. We thank you because you are our redeemer. You are our strength. May your name be exalted in the name of Jesus. Lord, we declare peace over this life in the mighty name of Jesus. Sir. Let everyone here today experience peace in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord. Over the situation that brings worry, over the situation that brings challenge, Lord, we declare the peace of God in the name of Jesus. God, I command that as God is go in the name of Jesus, you shall express a extraordinary turn around in the name of Jesus. God, every mountain is removed in the name of Jesus. God, every barrier is uprooted in the name of Jesus. God, every limitation is broken in the name of Jesus. Every gas ceiling is shattered in the mighty name of Jesus. God, let there be testimonies, Lord, in the name of Jesus. I judge all your enemies in the name of Jesus. God, thank you, our Father, Lord, blessed be the name of Jesus. We shall express victory, which has shown power in the name of Jesus, and the glory of the Lord shall overshadow our lives in the name of Jesus. He will declare in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Can we celebrate Jesus the more? With your hand clap, celebrate Jesus. And let's begin to decree a word of prayer to the servant he has used to bless us this morning. Let's decree a word of prayer unto his life. Let's say, his Father, we ask that he will increase on every side. Lord, prosper him, prosper the work of his hands. The word he has given to us today will not stand against him. By the power of your name, so shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen and amen. God bless you. Please, you may be seated. I want to especially make welcome those that are joining us for the first time. So please, today is the first time you're coming to Praise Tobacco. We want to appreciate you. We want to acknowledge your presence. I want to pray for you. So please, do we have first timers in our midst? It's the first time you're coming to Praise Tobacco. We just want to appreciate you. Do we have some questions in our midst? Can you be upstanding? Can you be upstanding? Hallelujah. Oh, God bless you, brother. Thank you for coming. You were in the right place at the right time with the right people. You will never go back the same way you came. You were in the right place at the right time with the right people. You will never go back the same way you came. We need you to build this family. We need you to build this. 
week and ask that God will accept your offering. And as you have declared, it shall be so in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we ask that you accept our offering this morning. From the abundance you have blessed us with, who have brought this token, I appreciate you. We ask, Father, by your mercy, you accept it from us. Bless it. And may it be used, O oh God, to promote your gospel right on earth in the name of Jesus Christ. Every hand that I have given this money, Father, they will not return dry. But rather, Lord God, the source of their income will be blessed. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. God bless you. Please, you may be seated. All right. Quickly, let's listen to the following announcements as we bring this first service to an end shortly. Every Sunday, we begin our services with the morning dew prayer, and that holds on our Facebook page by the hour of 6.30 a.m. So please, the morning dew prayer for today, we encourage that you should go back home and watch it if you have not done so already. And as you do, the Lord will bless you really good in Jesus' name. Also, on every Sunday service like this, we have our two services running, the first being the early riser service. It runs from 7 a.m. to 9 a.m., and the second service, which is tagged the praise service, runs from 9.30 a.m. to 12 noon. So we encourage that everyone should be part of any of these services. Every Tuesday, we also connect to our Facebook page to be part of the online Digi Deep service, which holds for just 30 minutes. And that is from 7 to 7.30 p.m. every Tuesday. So we encourage everyone to be part of this. This is where God's word comes to us fresh through his revealed world. So please, on Tuesday, be part of the Digi Deep service. And if you have not done so already, it is still here available. You know, that's the beauty of the internet. It is available for you. You can always go back there and watch it at any time. Thursdays are days of faith clinic. We meet here physically in church to pray for just a period of one hour. And that is from 6.30 to 7.30 p.m. every Thursday. So this Thursday, God is expecting you to come and cry to him. And as you do, he will hear your cry in the name of Jesus. Also, you can reach out to us and you can connect to us via our various social media platform. We have our Facebook page, which we have mentioned before. That is our, our Diggy Deep, our faith clinic host live there. You can connect to that Facebook page. And the name is RCCG Praise Tabernacle. And of course, you can also subscribe to our YouTube channel, which is RCCG Praise Tabernacle as well. So please like and follow us in any of these platforms. Now, just like we have given our offering and our tithes, you can as well make such payment to the church account directly by making some transfer to the church Zenith account. The account number is 101-5865-372. The Zenith Bank account, like I have said, with the account name ROCCG Praise Sambalanko. Okay, I think, Technical, can you display the account for us so that we see it as we progress it? Also, we have an account for the projects of this parish. So many projects that are ongoing. If you look around you, there are so many of them. So please connect to what God is doing in our means and also be blessed. You can put such seed into the church project account. Is any back account as well with the account number 101-6615. 945. And also for those that made pledge during the anointing service. So please, such pledge can be remitted to the project account. Please let's also be reminded that believers class continues after the second service. So please, you are you've been part of the believers class. We are correct that you wait behind to continue such class after the second service. It is just for a few minutes. Those that want to do water baptism should please meet with the church admin. We have been announcing this for a while. You want to baptize by immersion, please meet with the church admin and she will tell you what next to do. As a member of Praise Tabernacle, it is expected that we belong to a house fellowship center. Everybody is expected to belong to a house fellowship center. And I did mention last week, if you don't have one close by, create one in your house and come meet with the pastorate and then they will dedicate it and then that becomes a house fellowship center. 
where you, your children, your husband, of course, and uh, perhaps your neighbors, they can join to worship God. So please, it is important that we all belong to a house fellowship center. Good news. Let's celebrate Jesus. There is good news in the house. Hallelujah. The RCCG annual convention comes up on the 2nd to 8th of August. Let's celebrate Jesus. It's an annual event. It will be happening from the 2nd to 8th of August 2021. And the theme for this convention is a new wave of glory. God is said to release a new wave of glory into our midst. Our ministry is our Father in the Lord, Pastor E.A. Adeboye, and several other anointed men of God. So let's look forward to the conversion, which is fast approaching. All members of the prayer department will be having their prayer meeting this Saturday. So please, you're a member of the prayer department. You'll be having your prayer meeting this Saturday. And the time for it is 7 a.m. As early as 7 a.m., we're already here and we're praying. So please, if you want to be part of this, it's also open to the church. You want to pray, you love to pray, you can be part of what they will be doing here at 7 a.m. this Saturday. Excellent men in the house are expected to wait briefly after the service. Please, all men in the house, you are expected to wait briefly after the close of this service. And also, this coming Saturday, the women will be having their monthly program. And the time for it is 9 a.m. Women in the house, your monthly program will be coming up this Saturday. And the time for it is 9 a.m. Not to worry, I'm very sure that before 9 a.m., the prayer department would have rounded up so that women can as well continue. So please, let's not forget any of this announcement. Let's keep them all to heart. Amen. Let's be upstanding as we be to appreciate God for what he has done again in our midst. And as the choir gives us the Redeemer Satan.
Tell God what you want in this week, in this month. Declare it to his ears. He's the only one that has answers to your question. No man can grant answers to your question, but God can. And he's asking you, tell me what you want me to do for you. Maybe she could by this. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Our Lord, we thank you for what you have done in our midst again today. We return all the glory unto your name forever in the name of Jesus. Father, we ask, O oh God, even O oh God, in today's service, that which we have declared into your ears, Father, speedily bring to perfection in the name of Jesus. Whatsoever you have declared to the ears of God, I ask, even in this week as you go forth, as we all begin to manifest in the name of Jesus. What eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, that which has not even entered into the heart of any, that is what God is said to deliver to you in this week. In the mighty name of Jesus, I decree that it shall be a blessed week for you. It shall be a blessed week for you. In your finances, you shall increase. Health-wise, you shall be stabilized. In your family, you shall continue to experience joy unlimited. In the name of Jesus. I decree upon every heart here that is troubled. I decree the peace of God to come upon you. In the name of Jesus, I ask as you go for this week, you shall experience the wave of God. You shall experience the mightiness of God. You shall experience the supremacy of God. In your life, in your business, and in all that concerns you, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I decree that this week, you shall see the hand of God mighty upon your life, and you will return testifying of his wonders. In the mighty name of Jesus, go and prosper, go and be established. You are blessed, and so shall it be. In the name of God, the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, for in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Can I hear you believe in amen? Can we share the grace together in fellowship? The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. We shall dwell in the house of the Lord.